Bible Tree! It's Bible Story Time! Last week, we learned about Moses and the burning bush. This week, we will learn about Moses and the Red Sea. But before we start, I have here some words and I want you to help me to read it. Okay? Moses. Moses. Your turn. Very good. See. See. Your turn. Okay. Cloud. Cloud. Your turn. Nice. How about this one? Fire. Fire. Your turn. Thank you. Dessert. Dessert. Your turn. Dessert. Chariot. Chariot. Your turn. Chariot. Okay, thank you so much. Now, I have here a video and I want you to try listening and following it. Okay? Thank you so much for following. Now, it's time to watch the video. See you later. Bye! The final plague had the Egyptians scared, and they urged the Israelites to leave quickly. The Hebrews gathered their belongings and livestock and left Egypt with great rejoicing. To make their departure even sweeter, as this massive sea of men, women, children, and flocks and herds of livestock made their way out of Egypt, the Egyptians loaded them down with incredible treasure. Their centuries of slavery had come to an end. God delivered his people just as he had promised. God led the Israelites out into the desert wilderness. While on their journey, God cared for his people. To help them find their way, he led them in the daytime as a pillar of cloud. During the night, he appeared as a pillar of fire. These columns not only gave the Israelites direction, but also comfort. The pillar of cloud protected them from the harsh rays of the sun, and the pillar of fire kept them warm through the cold desert nights. After the Hebrews left, Pharaoh changed his mind and said, What have we done? We let the Israelites go and have lost their services. Pharaoh commanded that his chariot be made ready, and he summoned more than 600 of his best chariots and officers. As he and his charioteers rode off, Pharaoh's entire army marched behind him. All of Egypt's military was in pursuit of the Israelites. As Pharaoh's armies got near, the Israelites caught sight of them and began to panic. They quickly turned on Moses and asked him, Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in the desert? But Moses stood firm and called upon his fellow Israelites to do the same. Fear not, and see the salvation the Lord will bring you today. You will never see these Egyptians again. For well, the Lord shall fight for you. Moses stretched his hand over the sea, and the Lord sent a strong wind 
that drove back the waters until they were parted, leaving a dry path straight through the middle. All the people of Ismail went into the midst of the sea, walking on dry land with the towering walls of water on both sides. After the Israelites had made some way through, Pharaoh's entire army followed them on the path the Lord had made through the middle of the sea. When Pharaoh's army had made it midway through the sea, the Lord threw the Egyptians into confusion and panic. Their chariot wheels, clogged with mud, fell off or got stuck. The Egyptians began to cry out in terror, Let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord fights for them and against us. Once all the Israelites had made it across safely, the Lord had Moses stretch his hand out across the sea again, and walls of water collapsed, crashing down in huge waves upon the Egyptians. Not a single Egyptian who went into the sea survived. After this mighty display of the Lord's power, the Israelites trusted him and Moses as his servant. God had freed them from slavery and from the attacking Egyptian army. Overjoyed, Moses and all the people of Israel began to sing praises to the Lord. The people sang, I will sing my heart out to God. What a victory! He has thrown horse and rider into the sea. God is my strength. God is my song. God is my salvation. I will praise him always. Through this mighty act of deliverance, God set the Israelites free. The Lord would be their God, and they would be His people. For this week's memory verse, it says, He turned the sea into a dry land. The people crossed over on foot. From Psalm chapter 66, verse 6. Hello everyone! I'm back! Did you enjoy the story? Okay. What was the title of the story? Red Sea. What happened to the Israelites? They were free from Egypt and from slavery. What did they do? They followed Moses. Okay. When Moses stretched his hand into the sea, what happened? It parted into two. Were the people of Israel saved? Yes, they all survived. How about the Egyptians with their chariots? No, not a single them survived. Thank you for watching the story carefully and very carefully and for answering my question. For this six craft, see my next video, okay? Bye! See you again next time!